Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and today was the first day of Google's IO 2012 conference, which is basically the haven for all new things Google. Day one of the conference is usually where they introduce the best of the best, the newest of the new. It's basically like a mini WWDC in one day for, for Google. It's a really awesome conference. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the best of what happened today on day one. Google started right off with Android 4.1. Yes, Android 4.1 is Jelly Bean now and it's officially official as if it wasn't rumored enough already. Android 4.1 has a ton of new improvements and it's coming with a an interesting punch that it's packing, but we'll get to that in a second. So basically they started off by saying they want to make the entire operating system a more smooth, a more fluid experience with Project Butter, which makes sense because smooth as butter, yeah. Okay. They showed some comparisons with Ice Cream Sandwich next to Jelly Bean, which would be 4.0 next to 4.1. And they mentioned that they have the entire frame rate of the entire operating system at 60 frames per second. So hopefully that's, I mean, that sounds really, really good to me. Hopefully they can actually make that realistic with the devices that come out in the future. But that sounds really good. The entire device is supposed to be smooth. And from the animations and things that they saw during the demo, it looks like it's actually the case. Android, as we already know, also has some of the best notifications of any operating system out there, period, mobile or desktop. And today they took notifications again to a new level. You can actually now take action on your notifications from the notification tray. So you can pull them down and be able to answer texts and call people back and snooze appointments all from the notification tray without ever opening any applications. And there's also a brand new, and this is the biggest thing I think, is a brand new redesign of the search app in Ice Cream Sandwich to now move up to Jelly Bean. This brings a new user interface called the Cards UI. And basically these are different cards that will give you different answers to questions and things. And these cards will get smarter and be able to recommend things and just get better adapted to you as it moves on and it takes information from your Google search history and all that kind of stuff. Google Voice Search is essentially a Siri competitor. It's not conversational really yet, but it's definitely, definitely a Siri competitor, finally, for Android just built in natively from Google. You can ask it questions using Voice Search, and it is lightning fast, ridiculously fast, gets the answers back to you, almost as if there's no wait time at all. They answer some questions like, you know, translating things and asking what's the highest, you know, point in a certain place or the height of a tower or the distance to a place or the best restaurant. All these things that you've been able to ask Siri on the iPhone, you are now able to interact with this cards UI in the new Google search in uh, Android 4.1. They also have this part of it that's called Google Now and basically all this system is designed to just figure you out. You know, it uses your location and looks at your calendar and says, oh, you're about 20 minutes away from this next calendar appointment, you should leave in five minutes. St stuff like that, it's really intuitive. If you arrive at the airport and you have a flight in your calendar, it'll keep you up to date on how long you have before you have to arrive at the gate. It'll tell you if that flight is delayed or not. If you're using a mass transit route, it'll tell you when the next bus arrives when you're standing at a bus stop. It'll figure out your favorite sports teams based on what you've already Google searched and will keep you up to date on the games that they're playing. It'll have a card just for the sports team. So overall, Android 4.1 is a very solid upgrade for only a 0.1 upgrade over 4.0. It's a very solid upgrade and it's rolling out in mid-July to the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus S, and the Motorola Zoom and another device that we're about to talk about. They got to the good stuff right afterwards, which was basically the Nexus 7. This has been a rumor that everyone's been talking about recently. It's the seven inch Nexus tablet that Google is finally announcing and releasing very soon. So we've never had a true Nexus tablet. I mean, the Motorola Zoom is running stock Android, but it's not a Nexus device. So now this is a seven inch tablet with a Tegra 3 quad core processor, a 1280 by 800 display, and Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. They argue that the seven inch form factor is very, very lightweight and very thin, and it's kind of like the size of an actual paperback book, which makes sense. It should have nine hours of battery and 300 hours of standby time, uh, which I will have to see to believe. It's a Wi-Fi only model. It comes in black. I didn't see a white version in the Play Store, but there is a black version. I'll have all the links down in the description. You can buy this right now for $199. Watch out Kindle Fire because it's drained directly at you. Oh, and this is also the first device to ship with Google Chrome as the stock browser. Solid. So I noticed as they were going through the Android 4.1 demo, everything had a very nice polished look to it. I know Ice Cream Sandwich is the first operating system from Android that really looks like it has the most polish to it. Uh, but 4.1 has these new animations, you know, the new notifications, like I mentioned, and everything as they were demoing it just seemed really, really responsive and really fast. So I think that's a combination of Project Butter and the optimization for higher core chips, maybe quad core chips and dual core chips. 
now have full optimization. So I'm proud of what I've seen there at Google I.O. for the Android front, and there's been a whole bunch of other different minor updates recently. They also announced some interesting things like the Nexus Q, which is sort of a multimedia system that you can connect other devices to. You connect it to your TV, to your speaker, and you can have other devices connecting to it. It runs 300 bucks. It seems very, very tough buy. It's gonna be a tough sell, uh, but that's also in the Play Store at the link in the description. And there are also some really neat Google Plus updates as there is an events feature now where you can have all sorts of people connected to an event and you turn on this thing called party mode when you're in an event and you'll be able to automatically upload the pictures you take during the event all the way up to the Google Plus events page, which is pretty cool. There's also a new Google Plus tablet application, which has a brand new UI and a whole bunch of different features, which look really cool. And then suddenly they're demonstrating this ridiculously awesome Google Glass demonstration where they have these guys up in this blimp and they suddenly skydive in wingsuits down to the roof of the building. Then they hand off this package to these guys who BMX bike to the edge of the roof. Then these guys rappel down the side of the building and hop into the third floor and bike down the center of the aisle to get up onto the stage. That is by far the most badass thing I have ever seen at any keynote from any company ever. And all that was just to introduce Google Glass, which is a pretty interesting project to say the least. It's been coming along well, and they're actually gonna be offering those to Google IO attendees, which will be shipping early next year, and you can buy them for $1,500 if you went to the conference. Overall, it was quite the conference. I was excited to watch it live. Uh, and if you wanna see it, I'll hopefully be able to get a full link to watch the entire thing at the link in the description. The most exciting thing for me was the Nexus 7 tablet. I'm guessing it was, you can give a thumbs up if you agree for the same thing for you too. Uh, if not, go ahead and leave a comment and say what else you find uh, attractive about what Google announced today. I think it's a combination of the Nexus 7 and Android 4.1. Either way, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my Galaxy S3 review, which I recently uploaded, and a whole bunch of other videos that I put out recently. Uh, you can feel free to check those out, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.